<laughs> okay. Ready, set, go. She was doing something. So, even though I've never been to Taipei or anywhere outside the US, I like the message of Love Boat Taipei, because. I feel like you should follow your dreams mm. and not have someone like, I don't know, your dad tell you what to do every day, you know? Yeah, totally. Reading this made me want to check like a thousand items off my bucket list, one of which ironically was to shorten my bucket list. I feel like if I cut off like a hundred things, it would be manageable. So I've never been like anywhere really at all. So the main thing on my bucket list is just to get away, like far away. I am so with you on that. Like, where are you thinking? Milan, Paris, Thailand? I was thinking more like the Arctic. Excuse me? Yeah, I've been reading online source articles from the Akutak bookstore in Greenland for years, so I would love to visit. I have read that scientists have recently discovered a way to isolate a polar bear's DNA from using only two tiny scoops of snow from their footprints. So there's an experience you get to do where you get to join them on an expedition. Yeah, that's too extreme for me. My number one bucket list item is to post TikTok dances. I don't know, it just seems really, I don't know, fun. <laughs> Can't you do that like literally any moment of the day? I'm just worried my parents wouldn't approve. Your parents don't approve of Dancing? It's more like I'm worried they'll think I'm not cool. I know it sounds weird, but my parents are like cooler than I am. They set up a collection of Airstreams as boutique accommodations in Joshua Tree, and they host weekly sound bath retreats. They think TikTok is the antithesis of mindfulness. The only thing on my bucket list is I want to be recognized for my creative writing. I mean, my dad's hoping that I'll be a professional bodybuilder or whatever, but my real passion's writing. That's why I joined the book club in the first place. Wow, that's really cool. Do you have anything that you've written you could show us? Yeah, Gabriel, I do. This is a poem that I wrote two months ago while I was wakeboarding in Tahoe. The light shimmers off the crystal expanse. Tranquility, silence, Peace. Then, a roar. A sick watercraft blasts an awesome wake on its stern. I look ahead, wind dancing across my face, and cut hard. I do a 180 tail grab, and I land it. I found serenity. Huh. <laughs> it was actually pretty good. Well done, Marcus. On the next episode of Book Club Problems. All right. I think we finally pieced the entire story together. We know exactly what happens on each page. I'm pretty impressed we were able to do that. Yeah, but it would be nice to sort of review the book so we can make sure we didn't mess anything up. Oh, hi. I think we've earned ourselves some well-needed sleep. O-M-G! <laughs> yeah, I guess I forgot I had it. <laughs> Whoops. Don't worry. You are safe now.